Hello, this is the hardcore legend Mick Foley, and you are listening to Putting You Over. Yeah. Hello, this is the hardcore legend Mick Foley, and you are listening to Putting You Over. Yeah. Uh, this guy's called the Standing Streamer. <laughs> Wrestling with regret, and you're watching putting you over. All right, <clears throat> excellent. Hello, Wait. oh, you know, let's play something else. Why not? Right? I don't know how that sounds. How does that sound? Sounds good, right? WrestleMania 36, no time for games or dirty tricks. I've been waiting for a good fight. No, it's bound to be a worthy fix. No prolong, the show goes on. Whoever said it's canceled, told I'll just talk wrong. over it. I'll be watching it in the case it's not too loud. House party with the strobe lights. We all going through a dark time. I'm just over here to show light. Thinking positive my whole life. Vince is trying to make the show right. AJ Styles versus Taker. Good luck, Styles. Meet your maker. McIntyre ain't no liar. Has the we'll pull up the to be audio blind. now and see what it sounds like. Just in case he forgot, Cena wants to beat the fame. He's not trying to be squashed. Edge is really on a mission now. Randy Orton won't back down. The Always do an audio check. Change. The bars are subject to flames, but one thing's remaining the same. They're keeping the fans entertained. They're keeping the fans entertained. They're keeping the fans entertained. Everybody wants to talk, but nobody's trying to rehearse. People complaining quite a lot, but don't want to put in the work. I'll be jumping in feet first. Keep on collecting the checks. This right here is a free verse. I ain't gonna finish the rest. Well, everybody, those smooth words that you just heard uh, were from Ant Won't Stop, and we're gonna have him on tonight. We're gonna talk to uh, him for a little bit about. And welcome to putting you over, by the way. I am the standing streamer. Um, we're going to we're gonna talk to Ant Won't Stop. We also have Daredevil Dave Dahl on tonight. And um, allegedly, we are going to be talking to Vince Russo at the end of the night. Get his take on Money in the Bank and gimmick matches. So hopefully, that should be fun. But, uh, uh, but the coolest thing that I'm really excited for, one of the reasons I really wanted to have him on the show, because if it works out and if it, if it goes well, it opens the doors not only for Ant to come back on and do some more cool things that I have in mind, but even other things. He's going to perform live tonight. Uh, and don't forget, tonight we also are raising money for St. Jude. Uh, exclamation point St. Jude in the chat. Uh, I don't have the donation bar up here, but we are getting close to that goal. Um, so just bear with me and let me do that. Here, listen to some Ant. Cody's on a mission, ain't no plane. He's the best in AEW that ain't proclaimed. No MJF want to claim domains and say those names, but this time we play no games. Took the lashes like a man, no dispute. War low in the cage, step two. Now I'm chasing a weasel in a hot pursuit. And when I get my hands on you, it's all a shoot. Revolution, re revolution, re 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 revolution, 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 re re revolution, 
Now I, I can't. Revolution. I can't remember. Revolution. Um, exactly the first time, and I'll probably re- reiterate this once we get the show going. Once, once Ant's in here, I can't. You know what I forgot to play last night with Platinum Max Caster, who we had on last night, which is uh, actually out right now on the YouTube. It's been edited. It's been edited and pushed out to the YouTube. I forgot to play his song. He's got a song called Stand Up Guy, and I forgot to play it because I suck. Let's play. uh, That one's worldwide. No distraction. I'm going to play a little bit of No Distractions. How does it sound? Is anyone in the chat? Can anyone... Confirm what it sounds like for me. So I don't have to go and listen to it myself. I'm Michael Jordan and the foul line. Nobody's around me. It's just me in the hoop with nobody surrounding. No distractions. I think it sounds great. Concentration. My mind know. is a soundproof room that's in the basement. Waiting for inspiration is too dangerous. Sitting Wait, you know what I just noticed? I don't think chat's working for me. Got me feeling stuck. Now I'm live on no, it's not. Time. You guys might have been typing like shit. Hold on, let me refresh my bot here. Sometimes when I'm bored, I sit around and waste time. People always asking for a future. I'm a man. I was trying not to expose it. I can't control it. I need to focus. It's time for action. To hell with these emotions. Let me just reboot it. Reboot it. It sounded good when I pulled it up on my phone. I was always told to focus on the plan, but things change and plans get out of hand. Interactions turn into distractions. I'm feeling angry. But I should be relaxing. I was always told to focus on the plan, but things change. Oh my god, look, yeah, here's the chat right here. Susu says it's good. Doll6419 says, hey, hey. Local cool guy, hello, how's everybody going? It says audio is good. Tracks are slapping. Hello, everyone. Grizz Rogers says hello. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm sorry. Man, I'm trying to get the bottle. What's up, Susu? How's it going? So wait, so do these commands work? St. Jude? Yep. Macho? This is awesome! This is awesome! That one might be a little loud. This is awesome! This is awesome! (laughs) What a a funk. How's it going? Alright, there we go. Sorry. Now these commands work. Now I can see things. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, I try to be professional, but sometimes I'm not. All right. Uh, for the people in the chat, do you guys want uh, an Ant Won't Stop, like, original track? Or would you guys like a pay-per-view theme song? And then I'm going to run upstairs and pee. doesn't take me long to pee. I'm going to come back. I'm going to call Ant, and we're going to get going with this. So you guys want an original track or a wrestler wrestling one? Original. All right, Dark Stars in first. There you go, sweet sounds, man, won't stop. I'll be right back. I'll be right back with Ant. Nobody can stop me from what I'm trying to do in my life, man. This is my life, yeah. Straight up, man. This is my life. Hopefully you guys can hear it good. Everybody's trying to make it on the same place. So sometimes it seems easier if you change states. Keep the same old car. Just change plates. Fit in with all the locals and remain safe. Now you want invited, feeling lost, you can't fight it. Can't speak of how you feel, so you write it. Feeling out of place, unsafe. You put yourself into a trap, you can't escape. People always jealous of moves that you've been making. Now's your chance for a fresh start, you better take it. Times you even doubt in yourself that you will make it. So you can keep it real with your homies or you can fake it. Fake girls with fake bodies, they trying to dodge me. I don't want that any way, they try to rob me. Set me up and take all I got, Illuminati. Cause anything is possible when your vision is foggy. You never know what's happening in another land. Until you take a chance and change your plans. Never 
know what's happening at another height until you take that flight and change your life i say you never know what's happening in another land so you take a chance and change your plans never know what's happening at another height until you take that flight and change your life Everything is going smooth and finally sticking But you ain't making enough money to make a living You see the world different You got a vision Nobody can whoa, see Whoa, 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 stop the clock Opportunities always ready to be conquered It's not impossible for you to have your own concert Book your own venue Build your own stage Hoping we on the same page. So. You travel from coast to coast with not a thing. Nothing. Hustled hard, now you got a following. Yeah. Be proud of yourself, none of your foes can do it. And when you go back, your fake friends will toast you to yeah. it. Everything you've accomplished is all yours. Your next goal is to go on tour. Then you want to see your album in a store. Cause one thing is never in a until you take a chance and change your plans. Never know what's happening at another height until you take that flight and change your life. I say you never know what's happening in another land until you take a chance and change your plans. Never know what's happening at another height until you take that flight and change your life. Yo. There you go. Well, that works. Get my headphones in. Bear with me. Should I wear headphones or am I good without them? I don't. You don't have to wear headphones. All right, cool. I'm I'm fine. Um, I, I uh, I always have these little like things that irk me. It must be my personality or something. But it's it, the fact that I can see the microphone button, the pause button, the stop button on the on the Skype call. I, I don't know how to get rid of it. I click on other things. I move my mouse. Oh, really? Mine doesn't show it. Yeah, yours doesn't. It's on, it's on my end. I don't know how to get rid of it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I don't want to keep running around. But um, cool. you can hear me fine? I can hear you perfect, yeah. Awesome. We can hear you. Uh, thanks for first coming into the, the Twitch chat and joining us. So that was exciting. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. No problem. It's it's a little different um, because so far on this show that I try to do, I've only had, well, I started off wanting to do like a wrestling variety show. And I, I talked to the Smack Talk Showdown people and they, you know, they make a card game. And I talked to, you know, some other people here and there, video games and, and uh, stuff like that. And then it built into wrestlers. But I really do want it to be more of a variety show. And what, what I said earlier, I couldn't remember how I found you originally. But when I did find you, I said, well, I'm going to be able to use Ant somehow on the show. I don't know if I'm going to play his music or, or whatnot. And then things started coming to fruition and things started happening. I was like... You know, I wonder if I could have him on. I want to talk to him. I want to hear everything. But I wonder if he could perform. Definitely. So definitely. that's what led us to this point. But before we get to any of that, um, so what I want to do is, uh, look, I put my dry erase board there. Now I got to look all the way over here. But uh, <laughs> I think I can remember writing down the notes. Um, y you have a love for wrestling and music. Am I going out of the line? saying that or no No, that's true that's true i love both of those things those are my two favorite things your two favorite thing two passions in life um what's one of your first wrestling memories oh um one of my first wrestling memories is probably um my brother he was a wrestling fan uh before i was born so i was born into being a wrestling fan um so before i was born there was the summer i mean uh, no survivor series um, I think it was 1990, right? So we had the tape for that. So ever since I was born, I was watching that tape on repeat. As far as series, I think it was 1990. With, um, well, 1991, actually. It was with Undertaker and Hulk Hogan. They were in the championship match? Yeah, and I kept watching that over and over and over. I do remember that. Those Survivor Series was, were, were hot back then. That was my first memory, and then Ric Flair came out with a chair and put it underneath... Um, Hogan's head and he hit the tombstone. That was the best. <laughs> yeah. Those, those, uh, those survivor series were way better back then because for, for me, because I have, I have that same feeling. 
it was always like it was always around Thanksgiving time, like close, like a closer to Thursday. I, yeah, yeah, it was on Thursdays. I was going to say, I, I want to say they were on Thursdays. Yeah, on, thanks, on Thanksgiving. And uh, they should definitely go back to that. But w- what's your first – so wrestling was – you grew into it. Wrestling was big in your household? Yeah, well, well my brother was into it uh, when I was – before I was born. And then uh, ever since then, I've always watched wrestling. Um, I remember watching wrestling as young as I could remember anything. Yeah. It was one of my first things that I watched. And how about music? Oh, good so, for uh, you. It's always been around, you know, um, different influences, different places. Um, the hip hop end comes from like my brother. He, he always put me on to that. Gave me mixtapes and stuff of like Biggie, Run DMC, um, Nas. Like and when I say mixtape, it was just like whatever songs he downloaded off LimeWire and put on a CD. <laughs> and I put it on my Walkman and walked to school with it every morning. Lime so wire. Like each, each month was like a different mixtape. <laughs> yeah, that's that's dangerous. And, uh, that was right there. That was that was always that was fun, you know, learning about hip hop that way. Yeah. Because all those songs had already by my time they were not playing live. They were yeah. like it was like a replay of them, you know, the run DMC and stuff like that and Biggie. So I was I was just learning about hip hop like going back in time and, and learning more about hip hop. It was cool. That's awesome. Yeah, uh I'm 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 forty years old, so that era, Biggie, Pac, uh, Nas, all that stuff was was big. Like literally, when right my whole high school career. That's so, awesome. um, as much as I love, I'm the Beatles and Pearl Jam and all that stuff. There was that phase where, like, I saw Bone Thugs and Harmony. I saw the Lost oh. Boys. I saw Biggie. Wait, did I see Damn, Biggie? You saw Biggie live. Wait, did I see Biggie? I don't remember, but my, my mom took me to all, it, that's the fun part about it was my mom got into it. I don't think I saw Biggie. There's no way it, Biggie. What? No, because I had life after death and life after death came out after his passing. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, I didn't see him and I didn't see Pac, but I saw, I saw uh, Diddy. I saw Bone Thugs, Lost Boys, Nas, Snoop, you know, all that. Only and, one out of that list I saw was Nas, and I was like in awe. Like I knew all the words to all his songs, but I couldn't say them. I was just like looking at him, like yeah, the whole time, like for like forty minutes of him performing. It was it was really awesome. So <laughs> there was. I mean, I tell you, I would have loved to see Biggie. I feel like I saw him, but I didn't. You might have seen him like on a show. Like maybe he came out for the Bone Thugs and did a song because he did a song with them. You know. Yeah, he did. He could have came out for a, a cameo or something like that. I'd have to I'd have to really go back and think about what year I saw Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. But you're right, he did do a song with them. Notorious Thugs. Great, great track, by the way. Um What what made you Okay, so so let's talk about the music aspect of things. When did it click with you like this was something you wanted to do, uh, make music content. I'm hearing a door. No. Um, well, that's a good question. I always get, I always have like around the same answer, which is like, it must be true if I have the same answer every time. Right. Um, but it's a, it's a passion school, too. It's hard to answer questions yeah, about your passion. It's like, a passion. Yeah. You're like, I so love it. it. So it come overnight. It's but, like, like, I'm going to do it. Cause I love it. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it was something that triggered me like thinking, oh, maybe I could do music, you know? It was me in ninth grade and I was doing a biology project and like there was different topics you could you could pick like, and I think my pick my topic was respiration, right? Mm-hmm. So he's like, you could do a PowerPoint, you could do um, like a spreadsheet. Whoa, 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 like whoa, stop the clock. Like video. And I was like, oh, let me just try doing the song, you know? So I, I made this rap about respiration and I hope it never surfaces, it was so bad. <laughs> My voice didn't even drop yet. It was it was bad, um, and it was over that um, the Jay Z "Welcome to New York City" yeah. that beat, and the teacher was like, "Oh, this is really cool. Like, this is so cool. You should keep doing it." And I was like, "All right." So then I made like a song about World War II for my history class, and I was like, just doing like more songs about things for school. Like, I was like, "Why not do that? I'm not gonna do a PowerPoint." PowerPoint right? Who boring. wants to do a PowerPoint? Yeah. But it also helped that um, before that, my brother and his friends were rapping, you know, doing like their own mixtapes. So they were like rapping and, and 
with microphone and a couple of programs and stuff like that. And um, they helped me start recording my stuff. Like the Respiration song, my brother recorded that. And uh, the next one, I think I recorded on whoa, my Whoa, own. whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Time. So I started with GarageBand, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that probably led you right into like like how I found you with the pay-per-view theme songs because you were already rapping about your science project, your history project. So you take your other <laughs> that passion. That was long before, though. That was long before. But, yeah, like but you, you, yeah. you, take, you can take your passion of, of music and rapping, and that's poetry. That's art in my mind. Yeah. Um, and you just put it towards wrestling. Was there ever a... Was there ever anything that said, "Oh man, I want I this is something I want to do. I want to make whoa, whoa, custom, whoa, whoa. Stop custom the clock. theme songs." You know? No, nothing in particular was the custom theme song thing. It was just like um, there was a guy who was going to WrestleMania 34. Well, first before that, I put out um, a song that had some wrestling lines in it. I was like, um, "High speed, slow motion, time don't exist. Diamonds on the wrist, like Flair in '86." Let's take a risk. We grind them like the clips. Never put a piece in the puzzle that doesn't fit. And then I was like, um, something about Macho Man. I said, um, I'm Randy Savage. My girl's Miss Elizabeth. So I put like a bunch of cool, yeah. like, uh, rap, like wrestling things in my song. And I posted it on Twitter. And then people started gravitating towards it. Like, oh, this is awesome. Like, you guys, you should do more of these. And then I was like, all right, whatever. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, whoa. There was Stop a guy the on clock. Twitter, a friend of mine who was going to WrestleMania 34. And he said he was going to do a vlog. And he's like, yo, can you make me a custom? WrestleMania 34 song for the blog, and I was like, yeah, definitely. So I put a lot of energy into making that WrestleMania 34 song, and people really liked it on YouTube and Twitter. So I figured, why not make, you know, a SummerSlam song? Why not make a Survivor Series song? Why not make a Royal Rumble song? And then I just it just kept going from there. And then AEW came around, started with the AEW All Out, Full Gear, Revolution, coming up, Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing. You know? Yeah. Awesome. So what is... Like a day in the life, is it? Is it? Do I pronounce your? Do I say ant won't stop, or is it a n t won't stop? Whoa, 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 whoa! It stop the clock. He won't stop, but ant won't stop is kind of uh, an alias, you know. It's the same <laughs> thing, really, right now. Yeah. But I started out just a n t, and then I had a song called a n t won't stop way back in the day. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A n t this, a n t that. We found. Oh no, not that one. That was oh. that's a new one. Um. A&T Mixtape Volume uh, 4, I think. My fourth mixtape was A&T Won't Stop. It was like, there was a sample in the song that it's like, it was like, A&T Won't Stop. He said it to the top and nothing can stop. Like, it sounded like it was saying that, mm -hmm. but I wrapped that over it. And um, that's where A&T Won't Stop came from. And I needed a handle for Twitter, so A&T Won't Stop was it. I've been calling you Ant Won't Stop for weeks. Yeah, so. yeah, Ant Won't Stop. I go by that now, too. So, I mean, either one. So, a lot of people just call me Ant, so I don't care. But whatever. Whatever works, right? Yeah, whatever. So, like, let's say, all right, let's say a day in the life of Ant when, when you want to wake up. Wait, what's, I mean, what's the process for making a track? Like not um, not just not just a wrestling track, just a regular track. Do you set out to make them, or do you? It's only... actually different. Um, the wrestling okay. track is different than a regular track to make, I believe. Okay. Um, because the wrestling track is kind of like, I wouldn't want to say forced uh, creativity, but it's a pressured creativity. You know, I have I have a certain deadline I have to meet, and I have certain stuff that I have to like certain things that I want to hit in the song, certain parts that I want to yep. you know do. So making my own track is a little more wide, like more broad, and I don't have no rules or guidelines or time limit really. But um, so making my own track, I would say inspiration would be like going outside, you know, um, sitting outside with headphones on, playing some some beats on my phone. Um, nature, I like nature a lot for writing. Like that last album that you played, yeah, was ain't you this, ain't you that, worldwide. I was sitting in nature a lot um, during playing playing around with that album. But in the wrestling song is just me sitting in the studio writing, 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 and watching a lot of wrestling. Just I always have wrestling on in the background. Maybe sometimes more than one screen. I gotta admit it. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Yeah, he... preaching to the choir there. What what are you watching on those screens? Um, well, it, I gotta watch AEW. You know, I gotta keep up with AEW. Um, I don't always get to watch it live. I sometimes I watch NXT live because I've been watching NXT for a while. So I feel like if I miss anything. 
I feel like I'm out of the loop, you know. I've been watching it for since Kevin Owens, a little before Kevin Owens days, when Sami Zayn was cha- was Sami Zayn the champion? Yeah, oh, yeah, I believe Owens beat. Zayn, yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, the Sami Zayn days. I've been watching NXT since then, and um, AEW would be on like one screen. Um, and if it's like a, a specific type of song that I'm trying to go for, like SummerSlam, I got to keep the SummerSlams on repeat. Like every SummerSlam, I just watch. From zero, from 1987 to 2020, I watch all the summer slams. That's awesome. That is that I makes mean, sense. Not like, I don't sit there and like watch them, but I'll have them playing. And playing then, in the like, background. I'll sit back, and right, sit back, right, like stuff like that. Yeah, there might be a reference in there, hyper reference. Yeah, or something. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Like I had to talk about like in SummerSlam song uh, that I'm gonna play for you guys later. Um, I had to talk about right now, like. Um, like the Legion of Doom, riding out a motorcycle is like the Legion of Doom. Like that, I saw that. Like, I was like, "That's so epic!" They're coming out in motorcycles. I remember watching that. It was awesome. I the just, Wembley Stadium. That was. Epic. Where that that was Wembley. Yeah, yeah. I just watched. Um, I just watched something. I think it was a WCW something, pay per view, but the Road Warrior. They were the Road Warriors then. They came out. On motorcycles, but they weren't driving the motorcycles. They were riding on the back. And I was like, what? That's so weird. Yeah, that's that's weird. weird. The Road Warriors should be riding their motorcycles. And, that's and they were probably to... wearing blue, too. I don't yeah. hate when they wear blue. I, yeah. I really hate it when they wear blue. So, but that's my favorite tag team of all time, though. It's got to be. It's a hell of a tag team, right? Really? Yeah. I remember when I was... I love the Road Warriors, but I remember when I was a kid, I had a, a demolition poster... And I, I, yeah, I would put this. This is sad. I put the demolition poster above my bed. This is before I probably hit puberty, I'm sure. But the demolition <laughs> poster was above my bed, and I just remember they were the tag champs then. They were so badass, and I don't, I don't know, man. They were just great to me. But, they were cool, but I always like I always kind of like was hesitant on being like a big fan of them because they were very similar to my my Road Warriors. Yeah, so yeah. Well, it was a rip off. Them, yeah, I was like, oh, it's fake. No, they're the fake Legion of Doom. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a total rip off. It was a funny thing we had um we had uh, Nikita Koloff on here and we were, we were talking. I asked him wow. about I asked him if Vince ever wanted to bring him in, and he talked about it a little bit. And there was a, a spot there where uh, Smash, Barry, uh, Barry Darso, yeah, that's his name, Smash, wa- he's friends with Nikita, and he wanted to bring, there was a, there was a time where Nikita was going to be, first of all, there was a time where Nikita was going to be brought in to be Hogan's main, main nemesis, main heel, USA versus that USSR. Makes sense. Yeah. And then some time passed, and then there was talk about him coming in and being the other half of demolition with smash and he didn't want to do it. He he was very loyal. That's what I took away from the interview was that he was extremely loyal and uh, he didn't do it and that was okay. And then they got, you know, they got ax, you know, the rest of Oh, the... so that was before they even had ax. That, as... I believe Pardon. that was before. Oh. That's what I took away. It was before ax. Basically Nikita was going to be the ax character with smash, okay. but so yeah, That's but yeah, they were ripping things like what it could have been. Like even like Sting, they said Sting was supposed to be like the third man in the NWO. What would have happened if that happened? I don't know? think it would have worked out. I don't think so either, because Hogan was. It made sense. It made a lot of sense. Hogan being the third member. The the initial pop of Sting of, NWO. of Sting come <laughs> if Sting came out at Bash of the Beach '96. If Sting came out for Savage. In Luger as the third partner he comes out, and you you think he's on their team, and then he turns and hits a stinger splash on somebody, and then aligns with with Hall and Nash. That initial heel pop, I'm gonna call it, would be just as big as Hogan's. People would have been throwing everything would have been so big. Yeah, but I don't think Sting could have done the heel work that Hogan. Hollywood Hogan ended up doing no because like he was like a very passive heel like he was like you turn around he'll hit you with the belt and then he'll like run out the ring so <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't, couldn't picture Sting doing that kind of stuff like 
it was just like such classic heel stuff. I think he might be one of the greatest heels of all time. Honestly, Hollywood Hogan was really, really good at being a heel. Hollywood. Underrated. I think. Well, Bully Ray, Bully Ray, who's in another great tag team. Speaking of tag teams, one of the best of one all of the time. Best. Top big, two. <laughs> big shout out to Bully Ray. Definitely. Um, he always says the best heels are the best faces. Or the best faces make the best heels. The best. I thought CM Punk was pretty good at both. Yeah, really Punk can both. do both. So I'm hoping to see Punk this weekend as the hacker. That's my uh, dream. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> it's, it's my dream. But but coming back to you in your music, in your wrestling, and, uh, you know, we got your links up. We got your Twitter up on the screen, and we got a command Thank in the you. chat and whatnot. Appreciate that. Um, That's right, D-Rod. My dream is to have Punk show up as the hacker him and aj lee i believe it's two i believe it's it's punk and aj lee if raw wants the ratings that's how they do it i'm just gonna tell you but anyways talk going back to ant um goals what, what's your goals what's your three-year plan where 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 can we see you going well i mean of course i would like to have my music featured on one of the the big wrestling companies that would that would also always be a goal it would be. It'd be nice. Um, you know, uh, I have like a lot of short-term goals. Um, long-term, I would love to be part of one of the companies, honestly. Uh, short-term, I just want to reach more people and have my music out there. You know, I love I love doing shows like this. This is, this is awesome. It just gives me like a good feeling. You know, I'm doing something positive, you know. Yeah. Um, that's really it, you know. Just keep, keep on keeping on. You know, if you don't. And then when I get that that deal or that um, partnership with one of the big companies, it would be really a big payoff, you know, not just money, not money at all, but like the satisfaction of seeing my song like featured, even if it's just like on a feud, Cody Rhodes and Jericho, if I do songs about that, a song about that, and then they have a match and they put, play my song, that would be freaking awesome. It would, sure would. And it would take your passion and your grind and all the hard work that you've been putting in and it would just be the culmination you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it would just be like, you know, more doors would open from that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So and I, and I think we've come to the time in this little talk between me and you, and I'm putting you over, uh, that I'm really looking forward to. And this is the time, this is something I wanted to do on this show, was have a live performance. And okay, okay. I, I talked to you about it, and, and you thought you could do it. I think you can do. It. I know oh, you. Whoa. <laughs> I, I know you can do it. I know I can do it. Yeah. Um. So, would you like to perform something for us here tonight? I would love to. Um. Just let me get. I got to get a little setup going real quick. Yeah. No problem. I got a whole different even scene for you too. Look at this. Look at that. Give me one second. Yeah. No problem. So, uh, and we'll stop. Going to perform something here for us in a minute, and uh, and then we'll have some closing words with them. And what else to be excited? I'm so excited. What's up, D-Rod? What's up, the chat? Thanks to everybody for those follows while he was talking. So uh, much love to you guys as well. And, uh, you know, you saw Ant's links in the chat and whatnot and uh, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to be quiet. All right. Here we go. Got my belt. Yeah. All right. Can you see me? Yeah. No, it's perfect. Cool, cool. So this song is called Royal Rumble. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now's not the time for illusions to breathe. 30 men with opportunity. Over the top, I refuse to be snoozing because nobody's fooling me. Winning the rumble, I won't fold. Hat trick like Stone Cold. Classic. 
Ric Flair, 92, when I want the gold, no pinfalls, no submissions, my opposition is non-existent, your proposition is weak, then I condition my competition, who's next, who's asking, hit the ring of my music blasting, frog splashing, ready for action, running fast like I'm about to cash in, changing the game, that's an understatement, underrated, not done complaining, I work hard, earn respect, and I'll be a legend like the Undertaker, Brooks WrestleMania, I'm taking away, not a hero just saving a day. All I gotta say is the best revenge is winning the match and making a pay. Boom, stop, till I get the top spot. Only thing I ever needed was a title shot. Over the top is where I'm throwing all you others. Two middle fingers, 29 stunners. Boom, stop, till I get the top spot. Only thing I ever needed was a title shot. Over the top is where I'm throwing all you others. Boom, stop, till I'm champion. I'm answering. All the doubt is in one night. You got haters, you done right. So. What a colossal match. I tapped into an energy that cannot be matched. So many legends before me were in the same position. I went the distance, so now it's my chance to make a difference. I'm so grateful for everything that I have endured, but that's nothing compared to the rest I have in store. Won't stop. Feel like it's a top spot. Only thing I ever needed was a title shot. Over the top is where I'm throwing all you other two middle fingers, 29 stunners. Don't stop. Feel like it's a top spot. Only thing I ever needed was a title shot. Only thing. Two middle fingers, 29 stunners. Woo! Can you hear me all right? Yeah, it's great. All right, cool, cool, cool. That song is called Royal Rumble 2019. I like it. And I have to do one more for you because it's your favorite. If that's cool with you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's great. I know what one it is. Good love. It. I'm gonna love it. Try to set the camera up so I don't have to hold it. It's like a silhouette. Is that cool or? Yeah, no, you're yeah. fine. You're fine. I'm hold it. Yeah, yeah. I hope everybody's enjoying it, enjoying the show. Check it out, yeah, let's go. It's so much pain. Oh, let me start that over. Sorry. My bad. I got a little too excited. Too high, too high, too high, too high. Too high. It's so much pain. I'm starting to wait. Hitting the ring, making safe, wait for too long. I ain't getting pissed, feeling like the ultimate warrior, unhinged, wilding out, shaking the rope, evoking the crowd, so I take some notes. Strength setter, leading the room, riding out of motorcycles like the Legion of Doom. And if you know around me, I'ma keep the move. It's called the Sweet Sweet Music, and we about to eat too. People wanna test my crew. The next thing you know, they wanna rap my crew. We the New Age Outlaws. Y'all need to get out more. It's starting to buzz, it's time to ignore you. And if you ain't done with that, we got two words for you. Summer Slam. Yeah. Biggest party of the summer, man. I'm wondering how to hit me and pick a cover band. Summer Slam. Biggest party of the summer, man. I'm wondering how to hit me and pick a cover band. Can't think it's summer to remember. Fighting long for me, no more contender. It's easy to become a man of dinner. But to stay on top and to challenge all together. It's gonna be a summer to remember. Fighting long for me, no more contender. It's easy to become a man of dinner. If you fighting the beast, better be brave. It's a hundred degrees in a heat wave. Some would say it's a perfect storm, and it's guaranteed that he retains that suplex on top. F5, not for place. Be careful picking a fight at the wrong time, wrong place. New day, new challenge, three titles, those boys valid, tag champs, world champs, full of talent. That's the perfect balance. And if you talk a phenomenal, I'm talking AJ Styles, 450, Styles Clash, and he's versatile, Summer Slam. This is why I need a summer, man. I'm wondering how they get me and pick a cover band, Summer Slam. This is why I need a summer, man. I'm wondering how they get me and pick a cover band. It's gonna be a summer to remember. But ain't all three number one contender. It's easy to become a man of dinner. But to stay on top is a challenge all together. It's gonna be a summer to remember. But ain't all three number one contender. It's easy to become a man of dinner. But to stay on top is a challenge all together. Won't stop. Yeah, yeah. That song is called SummerSlam 2019. Awesome. 
we uh, we hit those uh, links up so they can find you on Twitter, and I, I put your Spotify up and your YouTube up as well. Cool, cool. So that's Thanks awesome. A lot, man. <laughs> um, so what Appreciate I like to that. what I like to do, and that was great, man. I thought it came off well. So you should be very proud of yourself. It was hot. It was Thank lit. you very much. I appreciate it. Sorry for that. You know, little mistake. Live, live. No, no, no. Hey, this was this was a learning experience for for both of us. I think so. It it went. Yeah, I My thought it, experience is uh, you know, have your song ready. Yeah, yeah. Don't no, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um. What I like to do at the end of any any time I talk to anyone on putting you over, what I like to do at the end is I'm going to hand the mic over to you. Uh, that's your time to shine. You can put yourself over. Uh, plug whatever you want. Talk about whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Uh, but the mic and the floor is yours, my friend. Well, first off, I want to thank the standing streamer and uh, St. Jude, especially, for um, putting this whole show together. And I want to put you over and say you have a great show and you have a great talent for talking to people and asking them the questions that make them talk more. You know, I've seen your show before and you've made, you got the best, you got the best questions to ask people to get the most answers out of them. So I appreciate that. And uh, as far as me, you guys can follow me wherever you, you know, do social media. If you're on Instagram and won't stop Twitter, everything and won't stop. Um, if you like video games and Twitch, I play video games sometimes on Twitch. And won't stop. Um, music, if you'd like to hear that song or those songs or any other of my songs, YouTube is awesome. So is Spotify. Um, yeah, hit me up. Awesome. That's really it. Awesome. Excellent job. And we'll definitely be in touch. Um, before you go, uh, who's winning the men's money in the bank? Uh, I'm hoping to see Alistair Black win it. But um, someone brought up a great point on Twitter and saying that we keep getting the people that we want to become champion. It's just not, it's just not it, you know? Like, yeah. So we wanted Seth Rollins to become champion. It wasn't it. Drew McIntyre, I'm hoping it's it. But why would we want Aleister Black to, you know, suffer that same fate? So hopefully uh, not Baron Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not Baron Corbin. AJ Styles would be a good pick. He's fine. I love AJ Styles. Yeah. Um, not Baron Corbin, and hopefully Alistair Black does not get ruined if he does win it. What about the woman? That's, that's it. How about you? Wait, who do you think? Uh, I, I, I'm almost on the same boat as you. Uh, I think they want to have someone that's going to bring a little bit of ratings in. So I'm thinking AJ Styles can do that. Uh, I don't want to. I don't think Black should win yet, and that's odd to say. Uh, yeah. But there's a part of me that likes Baron Corbin, so I wouldn't mind Ooh. seeing him win. <laughs> Damn. As far as the women go, I'm going with Asuka. Asuka, yeah, that's a good pick. Asuka, she's really strong. She's a strong character in women's division. I, I just want Asuka to win because I just want to see her dancing with that briefcase. That's it. <laughs> that's the only Like reason. the Brock Lesnar? Yeah, yeah. Um, when he won. That was good. I was at Money in the Bank last year, and that was a really good show, and when you were there live, when Brock Lesnar came out, people went wild. When you were at home, I guess you were upset because, you yeah. know, Brock Lesnar is coming to ruin a great moment. No, but I thought it was really great when Brock won, like, to tell you the truth. It was, it was very shocking. Very shocking. Um, somebody in, in chat says, are you still on TikTok? I'm on TikTok, yeah. Um, and, my and TikTok's not that, I mean, it's not the best yet. I'm just starting. So okay. Just... Same thing, though, Ant won't stop over there? Ant won't stop, yeah. Perfect. And I have my music on there as well. So if you want to use my songs on TikTok, that's all you. All SummerSlam, all those songs. Nice. Check them out on TikTok. I'm gonna have to show that to my kids. My kids love TikTok. Yeah, and they're all all my wrestling songs are clean, so they're kid friendly. Yeah. I have to mention that as well. All my songs, wrestling songs, and most of my regular songs are clean. All right, Ant. Uh, you've done a you've you've definitely represented yourself extremely well tonight, and I'm very proud and happy that I that I had you on and uh man you put me over more than I put you so uh, thanks we'll, a lot man oh wait I'm gonna show you my jacket real quick yeah go got, ahead got the NWO um wolf pack truck line you can't see the back but look at that that is that is awesome yeah really cool it's, it's one of my favorite jackets awesome. truck line. shout out to truck line <laughs> big shout out to them all right and we'll be in touch sir 
Uh, have yourself a wonderful night. Enjoy Money in the Bank. And uh, great job tonight, man. You should be really proud. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks again for having me. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yeah, no problem. Later. See you guys. All right. Awesome. Man, that was a sweet jacket, right? <laughs> Golden opportunity for this gentleman at the Royal Rumble. He could get his paws on the World Wrestling Federation gold, the championship. Now's not the time for a losing spree. 30 men want opportunity. Over the top, I refuse to be snoozing because nobody's fooling me. Winning the rumble, I won't fold. Hat trick like Stone Cold. Classic, Ric Flair. 92 when I want the gold. No pinfalls, no submissions. My opposition is non existent. Your proposition is weak. They're not conditioned for my competition. Who's next? Well, who's asking? Hit the ring on my music blasting. Frog splashing, ready for action. Running fast like I'm about to cash in. Changing the game, that's an understanding. Statement. Underrated and I'm done complaining I work hard, earn respect And I'll be a legend like The Undertaker Road to WrestleMania, I'm paving the way Not a hero, just saving the day All I gotta say is the best revenge Is winning a match and making them pay